Okay. Okay. Uh, can I have a microphone? Microphone. Okay. Who has I listening to in the morning? Uh, on my phone. Mm, Pastor Trish. In the in the morning, I was repeating Pastor Aldrich from morning till we came to this preparing for this service. I was listening to Pastor Aldrich someone called Life is Spiritual. I repeated it. <laughs> it was on repeat. You you ever even heard it quarter once. I repeated it. Say. You see, there are times I'm writing notes while he's watching him, uh, the pastor in City of Truth. When I'm writing notes, like I'm like, what is this? What did? What, what was this? One day I remember calling him. I said, you guys, you are blessed. He said, why? I said, ah, did you listen to pastor pastor's message that he preached on? Look how funny now. Look at him. Saka saka ni saka saka saka. Ha na imboku zayuti imboku zayuti chikwe. Because you see, there's a difference between the office of the pastor and the body of Pastor Aldrich. See? So this, this body also wants to benefit from that message. I also want to be a partaker of whatever is going on. Imagine Pastor Chris listening to Pastor Chris. I remember uh, some years ago, I was listening to one of his sermons where he said, God said to him, if you listen to your sermons, you will grow ten times bigger than what you are doing. That was years back, years, years ago. Before, before he became the pastor Chris we, knew, we know now. Years ago, when he was still uh, 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 using Macombi and Matex. Yeah? He said he would be sitting with his friends, Anna, uh, uh, Ray Okocha, and these guys. So they'll be sitting like this, and the Holy Spirit whispered to him, said, if you listen to your sermons that you were recording in the service, you grow ten times bigger than this. And then it takes, and God is, imagine God telling you such crazy things. You would think maybe the sermon you need for your growth is online, and yet it's in you. You would think, remember when I was talking about light, I told you, God said, go back to the notes that I shared with you years ago. I said, read them again. I was, I was receiving impartation of light from my own notes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, so we must go for the word, be hungry and so thirsty for the word of God. Without investing the word of God into your spirit. Invest the word into your spirit. Invest. Invest the word of God into your spirit. Invest it. Invest the word into your spirit. <laughs> Do you know how, how, how Jesus defeated the devil? After prayer and fasting, the devil, the devil, the, the devil was not even afraid of Jesus after prayer and fasting. Jesus finishing prayer and fasting would think, now I'm full of an anointing. The devil is in trouble now. Guess what? Soon after praying and fasting, the devil said, okay, now let me show you. He, he, he took him, carried him into a high place. Now you are lightweight. I can actually carry you. <laughs> Jesus, after... Ah, no, 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 no. No. How is it possible that the very sinless son of God, only son of God, after prayer and fasting, could now be carried by the devil? The only time he defeated the devil was when he opened his mouth and says, it is written. It is written. How do you know what is written if you have never read what is written? Which means the secret that Jesus used to defeat the enemy, the devil, was the written word of God. What he was trying to tell us there was own a Bible. And don't just own it. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Some of you, Africa, just come. The moment he touches you, that pastor, that guy, I got in twin. <laughs> my way, my way, my way. Shibaba Jojo, Shibaba Jojo. My God. Kugubata. <laughs> and you know, in the end time, it's good. <laughs> it's a sign, of course. You hear the presence and the power. Uh, uh, but, but you see, 
Mwenye kushandirwa uno kushanyisa woga mchira woenda but you have not received that which produces chawaga mchira. Mwari cha hafu nyasoda chai chocho ndiche kuti number one uwe mwana wake ufambe nae umushumire. Do you think Sundays are only for coming to receive testimonies? No. Actually the pure church the church without blemish that God expects to have is a church where you come pastor and you are no longer asking for things. You are now praising him for what you have and who you are now. Yeah? My praise services. Do you know Psalm, what Psalm says? It says praise waited for thee in Zion. Which means Zion must be full of praise. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Kupa praise team nguwa kuti guys lead us into worship. You see, was this the people in church one mistake one they think praise team do you travel to praise for us while you are watching yeah nothing you know stand be so is singing very very well so you are the judge it's like american idol <laughs> but remember worship was never meant for you it was meant for god never meant for you ma is your 